Yo, yo, what's going on? What's popping? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good to listen? I'm going to tell you how you can get a woman obsessed with you. How you get a girl to really, really be feeling you, right? So, what's going on, everybody? Triple W. Man, like, yo, man, yo, it's your boy, the Dean. Know, like, how how class is in session. Really you know what, guys? What I want to talk right to you there. guys today about is attraction. The thing for a lot of you guys is that you think you get a pass straight to attraction. And you need it. That's not going to happen. In order to do that, you have to make sure you get your The following is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Welcome to the Dating Advice Hour with your hosts, Mr. Locario and Steve the Dean Williams. This show will teach you how to keep conversations going, how to be more attractive, more confident, more masculine, how to be better at knowing what to say to a woman and have a more satisfied dating and sex life. Mr. Locario is the bad boy of the dating game. Badboymembership.com is where you can go to step up your game as Mr. Locario provides you with detailed step-by-step -step dating advice, audio video tutorials every month. Steve the Dean Williams has been teaching men about dating, sex, and manhood for over 25 years. From building yourself to having the perfect marriage, his website is www.themanmindset.com. The call-in number is 515-605-9373. That's 515-605-9373. Take it away, guys. <laughs> All right, man. We here. What's up, everybody? Chill. Yeah. My boy, Miss Lucario. Miss Car, what's going on with you, dog? Tell them about yourself, man. Chilling, chilling, man. I just woke up. I feel like I'm catching a cold, but, you know, I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great. So, uh, today... Guys, uh, as, as usual, make sure that you go to badboymembership.com. That is the place where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. That is the, the 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 spot right there. So make sure you guys get that. Also, follow me on Instagram, goddammit, okay, at real Mr. Locario. So that's the that's the, the joint. You feel me? No doubt. All right, guys. I want to holler at us uh the man mindset.com, guys. Uh, members, don't forget the Halloween game is out for you guys, the trick or treat game. Also, guys, uh, the Halloween game is out at the Man Mindset. Make sure y'all go ahead and cop that right now. Um, y'all want to call in? The number is 515-605-9373. That's 515-605-9373. We're here to read emails and chop it up. But, you know, today's a kind of a special day because, you know, uh, I, I, I don't know why I have this guy on the show because he just got exposed <laughs> last week and shit. So I, I don't even know why I want to fuck with him because some guy comes on and does a video talking about he's exposing Mr. Lucario and shit. All right, right. Man, dog, we got it. We got to take a moment to talk about that because this is why Miss Lucario the majority loses. Now, I need to ask you a question, Miss Lucario. Let me ask you this question. Right. You know, I, I listened to a lot of that shit he was saying, which is full, fucking full of shit. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Did he ever join the bad boy membership? Did no, of course not. Because if he did, I, uh, 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 he no, no. <laughs> so, so, so he never, so he, he never did anything. He never invested in himself. Mm automatically assume that because he's a loser and has a loser mindset mm. that what you're saying is wrong is that what i'm taking from that sir pretty much pretty much so because you know the thing is for those who don't know there was a dude who came out with a video the other day um some some cat named young i, don't, I forgot what his name was but it's on youtube you could you could google it. it's titled Exp um it's, it's exposing mr locario or something and he basically in the video was talking about Oh, Miss Locario, you a fraud, and you you know you lying to everyone because it's not about confidence; it's just about how you look, and it's just about money, and you know the whole looks money status shit. The, that that crowd, you understand? And you 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 always going to have those crowd of, of people who always fall back to that because they don't understand anything about women and attraction and dating and game. They don't understand nothing about that, so they think it's all about. Your looks, all about your money, all about your status, and that's it. Period. So you know, it, it's just 
it's comical to me though. I'm just like, man, like, it, 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 and it's almost sad. It's sad too because you, you look at these guys and you're like, yo, they're gonna be forever stuck on the bullshit. So it's, it's you know until they wake up, ain't nothing you can really do with these cats. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You, you know, man, that's the weird thing, brother. About uh, the thing about success when you never had success is that you want to always see. I always say you only seep to your level. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these guys, just like that guy, has what I call world is flat thinking. He won't go beyond that edge because he thinks that he needs outside things to get women. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that he's not using who he is as a man because, I mean, you can tell by his mentality mm -hmm. that he, he came from, it was more of a feminine uh, type thing. Like, here's my thing, man. You don't you, you you just automatically assume that Miss Lucario is trying to do harm to you by telling you a truth. Right, right. <laughs> you you want to sit there and what 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 do you how can you expose success? That's what I don't I mean, how can you expose success, excuse me, in a negative light when you are a successful man? Mm -hmm. And it it's amazing to me that it's it's this mentality that a lot of young men have today. You know, we always talk about mom. You can always tell he, he wasn't raised by a dad. You can you can tell that off the bat, but uh, it, it, it was like this guy, it, like you say, I feel bad for him because he has this mindset, like he he's looking for compassion. He's looking for sympathy, mm -hmm. looking to be the, you know, uh, I, poor me, my pee pee hurt. Uh, <laughs> Never once did he say anything, Mr. Carr, about, you know what? Well, I got, I was a part of the bad boy membership. Mm -hmm. I got us how to sleep with two women in one. I think it's, what is it? Sleep with two women in, in a night or yeah, how we have sex with two women a day. Yeah, yeah. How to sex have two women a day. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Right, right. So he didn't even read those books, Mr. Lacari. He didn't do anything. But that's why, that is why they lose. Mm -hmm. Because they do nothing and they expect everything. And then when they don't get anything, they want to look at the successful one and say he's the one that's doing wrong. Right, right. Say, <laughs> exactly. That. <laughs> that's how it always goes. That's how it always goes. And it is funny that that these dudes out here, they keep saying the same thing over and over again. And I'm like, yo, every all the shit you're talking about has already been debunked and disproven. You know, you got guys out here who don't look like nothing getting girls all day. You got guys out here who's broke as fuck getting a whole bunch of chicks here and there. You know what I'm saying? Like they had a video of a homeless guy getting with a whole bunch of chicks. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's ridiculous. So, and when dudes talk about status, you know, most motherfuckers ain't on no high status. Most dudes is the average dude, nine to five working guy. So what are you talking about? And these guys get women. So all of this shit dudes are talking about is like, it's like they don't live in the real world or something. I'm like, my God, you know what I mean? So, but they live in a. It seems like they live in a, 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 a fantasy world because what I what I've noticed is not just what we saw in that video. Mm. But I noticed a lot of young men are so mad at the Pookies and Ray Rays of the world. Right. They're sitting here saying, "Well, I've got the corner office. I've got the job. I've got the degrees. I've got this and that." Yeah, you got all that outside shit that doesn't matter. Right, Ray Ray don't have anything. You know what they have? They have their last name, mm. they have principles, they have standards, and they have narratives. Mm. That's why they get the women. It's not about what they do; it's who they are. And and a lot of these young men won't connect this because all they're doing is going to the next YouTube, listening to a lot of bullshit, mm. about lying, manipulating this, <laughs> and all this other shit. And then when they get around a woman and she ain't buying into that bullshit, then all of a sudden I'm the victim. Mm. Oh, 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 she just an ain't shit bitch. She'd rather be with that motherfucker over there than be with me. Man, what do you have to offer? Well, I got the car. Car ain't going to show your personality. Right. Uh, your, ho your house ain't going to show that you fun to be around with. Mm -hmm. Your money ain't going to show how sexual you are in bed. Right. But this is what happens. They don't see it. But I'm sorry. We I just had to I just wanted to cover that real quick, Lakar, because that shit was so fucking funny. Right. Like mind blowing, dog. So uh who's going up first, fam? 
Um, yeah, you can go first. You go first. All right, guys. And if y'all want to call in, the number is let me post it up. It's uh 515 605 9373. It's 515 60. Oh, shit. How about the pro? Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me put the number in. Hold on. 515 All right. Five. There you go. That's the number. There's a call in. All right. Let me read the first one. All right. Um, Steve, I'm new to your website. A lot of great information. I just had to, uh, ask a question. I consider myself an intermediate when it comes to picking up women. Uh, I'm great at approaching. I have no issues with this. I focus on complimenting the girl on her hair, her body language, and her fashion, which they love. I've had responses like, aren't you polite? And that is so complimentary. Uh, the approach generally goes like this. I approach uh, and I ask her where is she going or doing. I talk about what I was doing or going to do. I talk about career and job, the same story. The girl decides to leave, and I try to uh, go for a phone number, and I get the boyfriend rejection. But sometimes when they get their number, uh, uh, they never call me back. I think it's a vibe and issue. But I always uh, something always that I always notice is that midway through the interaction with the girl, uh, she kind of rocks her body to leave, like she's like trying to get away. A lack of communication in my approaches. What do you think is going on? What are your thoughts? Mm. Wow. Well, the thing is, you know, was 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 hard to was hard to um, like you know, really assess in these type of situations is, you know, there there might be things he's doing that we don't we don't know because we're not there with him, so we can't really because he it could be something as simple as you know him not you know giving enough eye contact or him fucking like you know uh, stumbling over his words or. Him, you know, just his body language is off. He's looking, he's looking away or looking down or whatever. It's a whole bunch of those things that could that could throw shit off. Or you know, shit like, look, your you know, your clothes might be uh, uh, not on point. Your breath might stink. I don't know. You feel what I'm saying? But the thing is, in general, let's say let's say just for sake of argument, everything else, everything is on point, right? And it's really just the vibe is is that you're that you're giving off. And a lot of times, what happens is is that. When when you guys are out there talking to women, right? You have to make it um, a little bit more flirtatious and sexual, and make it as if like, look, I'm a man trying to you know interact with a woman. A lot of times, guys do this very platonic, you know. Oh, hey, so what are you up to? And how's your day? And what are you doing? That's cool for a second, but at the same time, you have to set the premise that look, I'm trying to make something happen with you. So what's good? You understand? And I think what happens is, is that because dudes are scared to do that, it throws everything off because the woman is ends up dealing with the guy who she feels like she's always dealing with. Because a lot of guys come up to women and approach them on some just friendly, platonic, you know, non-sexual, very like, you know what I'm saying? Like just, just some regular shit. And then you become regular like the other guys. So a lot of so the thing that's gonna make you stand out is you actually being in a situation where you make it a man to woman sexual flirtatious interaction, you know, as soon as possible, and then let the girl know, hey, listen, um, I'm gonna give you my number and I'm gonna need you to call me on Monday at eight o'clock or whatever. Just like give her instructions, let her know that this is a sexual thing that's gonna happen. You know, a lot of guys they just keep it at this like platonic, regular type of stuff, and that's the thing that's gonna throw it off. That's the thing that makes a woman want to leave because. Dudes be beating around the bush so much they don't get to the point, and she's just like, "Oh, here goes another one that I'm just gonna feel like I'm be, my time's being wasted or whatever." So, you know, let's see, what's your what's your thoughts on that? Well, I don't believe it's a vibe and issue in this email. I think it's a him issue. You're right about a lot of everything you're saying, but this is what I always this is why I always try to explain to you guys. Number one, number one, you don't know her. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking personal information from somebody? That it, when it's none of your business, is it your business where she's going and doing? No. What does that have to do with you getting with her? Nothing. The fact that you start talking about where you're going, you talk about career and your job to someone you just met on the fucking street. Are you serious? Is that what's in the water nowadays? Y'all motherfuckers, why you think she's trying to get away from you? Because you're a creepy, weird motherfucker. And it's throwing shit up on the wall and hoping something sticks because you don't have a mouthpiece and you don't know how to talk to motherfucking women. The problem with these guys, Miss Lucario, is that 
They want to they wanna ask questions and, and talk about shit that they don't really give a fuck about. You're asking her about shit. You don't care about uh, how her day is and what she's up to. You don't yeah. give a fuck about her job and her career. So then why are you asking about things that have nothing to do with what you are there for? That's why they don't want to be with you and want to be with guys like us because I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm not going to sit here and talk about shit that has nothing to do with you and I getting together or you getting in touch with me or us going out and spending some time together. Nothing says this. And this is why he loses. And this is why he gets the I have a boyfriend or I'm married or I'm just not interested in things like that or uh, you'll get her information and she won't call you back or anything like that. Why? Because there are a million guys who have approached her before you came. And then there's going to be a million motherfuckers that approach you afterwards. And like you said, Mr. Cario, if he is doing the same shit like the million before and the million after, there is nothing going to separate you. But if you got a Lucario or a motherfucking Steve walking up on your ass, talking that yak to you, let you know what the deal is from Jump Street, we have already separated ourselves just off the interaction alone. Mm -hmm. And that right there is going to not is going to move her from curiosity, Mr. Lucario, to getting her attention. You will not get a woman's attention asking about what the fuck she does, where she's going, what she does for a fucking living. All that shit is showing you that you know what? You are you have no game. You're terrible in bed. You wouldn't know what to do if you got it. And if you if she got in touch with you, you bake and cake up like a motherfucking chick. So <laughs> it's working, man. Real shit. Real shit. And you know, you know what it is, real quick. I want to say about that too. Yes. Is that um what guys need to understand is, is that women get approached all the time, dudes just trying to talk to them all the time. So what you have to understand is, is that they're used to hearing the same old, same old. You feel what I'm saying? So the thing is, when you approach a girl and you talk to her, based off of how you're coming at her, she she sort of, you know, she sort of knows or can tell if you're the type of guy who um, usually gets women or gets with women or understands this whole thing. So when you're talking to her and you're having that conversation, you make stuff happen. Just off the fact that she can tell that you know how to talk to women is already going to be a turn on for her, is already going to make her interested because she knows, she says to herself, oh, this guy, I know he 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 probably has girls already he's talking to. I know that women find him attractive. So therefore, I'm going to find this dude attractive. I'm going to want to see what he's about. You feel what I'm saying? And I, and I can assess this based off of how he's coming at me. So let's say you got 10 guys that hollered at her in that, you know, in the, in that day or in that week or whatever. And nine of them was going up to her talking about, oh, so, hey, so how's the weather going? And, and, and what are you up to? And, you know, um, you know, just some regular bullshit. She's going to be like, all right, you know, all these guys are talking all of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Then she get a guy that comes up to her and be like, yo, listen, miss, what's going on? My name is Locario. How you doing? Oh, your name is Stacy. Cool. Nice to meet you. Listen, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my number and I'm going to need you to call me tomorrow because I'm going to take you out. We're going to you know, get some drinks. I'm going to get to know you. You're going to get to know me. You know, whatever. It's like it's a different vibe. You understand what I'm saying? Versus the guys that are just beating around the bush and being on some pussy shit. You see what I mean? So a, a chick's going to respond better when she's dealing with a guy who she feels that she can see basically knows how to talk to girls and who's comfortable talking to women. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, a guy that's been there before, Miss Lacar. Let me see yeah. who this, oh, this guy. Are you listening? Or did you have a question, sir? I'm just listening, sir. Yeah. So the thing is, Miss Lacario, is that you're absolutely right, and and he can tell if you've been there before. Mm. Because only an arrogant, selfish, conceited motherfucker is gonna make it about him. Right. He's gonna. It's like you said. What's how you doing? This is why I came over here. This is what I want. Why don't you give me a call? Mm. Uh, you know, that's it. Cut and dry. Right. Dry. <laughs> that's it. And float the fuck off. Mm. Oh, you got you, Mr. Cario. All right. Cool. So let me let me get to this question. Hold on. Let me see. All right. So it says, um, I want to know what's the point of getting with these women if they're all uh, hypergamous. If I get with a girl, isn't she just gonna end up leaving me? 
when she finds someone who has more money than me. It seems like um, all these women care about is money and how much a guy can do for them and don't really care about the guy. So doesn't it make sense to not even get into a relationship with these girls and just try to get sex as soon as possible? So what's, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> well, I, I, I think that he should not get with a woman. I think he is absolutely right. And let me tell you why. Because she's not going to want to be with a loser. Mm. Here's the thing that this is this is the thing that makes me laugh about you motherfuckers out here. <laughs> Just because it's happening to that guy over there doesn't mean it's happening to me. Mm -hmm. You know how many motherfucking women I have had who have had bad who are in bad relationships, boring relationships, or have a bunch of loser friends that treat them like shit. But get with me and treat me like the king that I know that I fucking am. Mm -hmm. yeah, but see that the problem is, is Lucario, when when you uh, this is so beautiful. It goes back to the beginning of the first guy that was exposing you. Mm -hmm. If you cannot stand on anything, see a man that stands on his own name doesn't worry about the next man. Doesn't worry about what's happening with the next relationship. All he worries about is what is the motherfucker going to do for him? What is she bringing to my kingdom? What is she doing to me? Because I don't give a fuck what she is doing to the next man disrespectfully. She ain't going to do that shit to me. So why would I Why would I even worry? See, the fact, Miss Lucario, that he's worried about the next man mm -hmm. and not working on himself, it not only shows us, Miss Lucario, but it shows the woman that this man doesn't stand on anything and she can treat him like everybody else because what he'll do if he get in a relationship, Mr. Cario, he'll walk on eggshells mm -hmm. because he has already got it in his head that, well, you know, generalizing all these women treat these guys like shit. But you know what, Mr. Cario? He's right about that. All these women treat these bitch-ass males like shit. That's true. They ain't going to treat me like that. But I don't mind them treating like, look, I don't mind her dogging out the next man. I don't mind her using the next man for his money. I don't mind her taking money from him, robbing Peter to pay Paul, me. I don't, I don't mind all of that, Miss Lucario. Why? Because she's not going to do that shit to me. So why do I give a fuck what she does to them, sir? No, nah, real shit. And, and, you know, it's funny because dudes always... Are, are, are scared of this whole, they talk about, oh, she's hypergamy or hypergamous or whatever the fuck, where it's like, they're like, oh, well, you know, she's going to get with the guy who has more money or more of this or more of that. And what you got to understand is, and, and this is the problem that guys got, this shows how important confidence is and also how important game is. Also, you know, how important it is to um, get into a woman's mind and have her emotionally attached to you because... A lot of dudes think that it's just about like, well, if this is this guy has more money, she's gonna jump on him. No, the thing is, what well, especially let's talk about money. The money thing is a thing women are are attracted to, based off of what you can do for them with those resources. It's not about you. It it, it could be a, about a, any guy with money. So if a woman's fucking with a dude just because she he has money, it means she's not really into him. You see what I'm saying? If that's the sole purpose why she's fucking with you, she wasn't really into you anyway. So that means that, of course, when another guy comes around with more money, she's going to get with him because she don't really like you. So what happens is, is that you guys aren't getting with women who actually like you. So this is why we talk about you got to become the best version of yourself. You have to uh, work on yourself as a man and understand your value so that when you're dealing with women, they will see your value. You see what I mean? And once a woman sees your value and once she's attached to you emotionally, she's not going to just go and jump and leave you for some dude who has more money because it was never about the money with you. You see what I'm saying? Like like you were saying, Steve, she probably, uh, uh, you know, fuck with the dude with the money and bring the money back to you yeah. because she's fucking with you. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the thing that dudes don't understand is that because they don't see the value in themselves, 
they can't understand how a woman would see value in them. And this is why they're so scared about, oh, well, she's going to leave me for somebody else who got a better car or more money because your whole game is about how much money you got and the nice car you got. You see what I mean? It's not about you. You see what I mean? And so you you put value in those other things and the only value she sees in you is those other things. So you're irrelevant to the situation, which is why you're scared of this hypergamy and all this other goofy shit. You see what I'm saying? So if you're worried about, oh, the chick's going to get with uh, another dude because he's bigger or better and all this other stuff, that means that's a reflection of how you see yourself. You you don't see yourself as valuable, period. You see what I'm saying? So that that's the thing that guys got to understand, man. It's crazy. Well, well I just want to say this real quick. We got a few calls, but I want to say, you know, it brings a tear to my eye. And I and I, and I say this, and I think y'all want to laugh at me, but I... If I could give you motherfuckers a fruit basket or like a, a thank you card, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be fucking fucking funny here, but I just can't thank these guys enough for the no spine. I can't, man, it's nothing like her taking your money and just buying me a new pair of shoes or <laughs> story for me or taking me out on your money. I mean... You know, sometimes I I get a little choked up because I'm like, damn, man, y'all are some great ass guys. And I, I appreciate y'all working hard. So <laughs> spend your money on me. Right. But the thing I want to say, if you notice and y'all all remember, I, we, we try to also teach you listening skills. Mm -hmm. What was he saying? She, she, them, them, they, 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 they. There was never I, me, my. My thing is, I, the problem that we have is that we get with women. It's not that's the issue. Our issue is we got to vet them. Then we got to figure what type they are. Then we got to figure how much of my attention can I give her without her either going overboard, getting stalky, or going crazy. Yeah. That's our problem. But right. it's me, me, I, I, I. But if you notice that, that message, y'all, you got to listen, guys. He's always pointing the finger. She does this and they do this and they, they, they. But he never mentioned I, you know? So, um, but we got a, a few calls. Let's bring these in to, before I read my one. Unavailable, are you listening or did you have a question, sir? All right, I'm going to hang up on you if you don't speak. All right, uh, 516, uh, do you have a question, sir? Yeah, man, what's up, Steve? What's up, Lucario? What up? What's going on? Um, so Steve, uh, Sunday, I was at the mall. I approached this girl, like you said you did. And I got the date, set it up for Monday, which was yesterday. And, um, I want to say the date went pretty well. You know, I ended up kissing her a couple of times. And my question is like the first time I was kissing her, like we were sitting down in the park on this bench. And I think like I had trouble with the transition from like speaking from regular conversation, to, like getting the kiss started. So I just want to know, like, how could I improve on that? Like, how do I make it smoother in the future? Oh, uh, Ms. Carr, you want to go first on that one, sir? No, you can go first. All yeah. right. Well, what, what, what I would say on this one, 516, is that, remember, I'm already, I've already marinated the pussy before we even meet, number one. But if we're on the date, the first thing I'm doing is I'm recognizing the outfit and I'm going to use that to my benefit. Tell her how sexy she is. Let me see your girl. Come over, man. Wait, why, why are you so far away from me? Come on, give me, where's my hug at? Oh, oh, so you want to give me a hug? You know what? I'm leaving. The date's over. Walk away and say, nah, I'm just joking. Get her to laugh a little bit. Break the ice a little bit. A lot of closeness. A lot of flirtation. I, I don't know. Do you have the conversation classes? I, I just bought that from you, like, the day of the date. All right. Well, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, 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 what I would have used once you learn it, I would use some ethical, some reliables, and some accessibles. I would use two ethicals, one reliable, maybe three accessibles. You'll learn that in the conversation class. But the thing is, is this I I I I'm not my thing is I'm not thinking what's gonna happen before I get the kiss. I'm thinking about what I'm doing after I get the kiss because I know I'm going to set myself up in that moment. But it, it is what I'm saying is you say you got the kiss from her, right? Yeah. Okay. What did you do to get the kiss? All right. So let me know what you think about this. So, um, I don't know. Like I, I kind of like 
in the beginning, I was kind of inching forward a little bit, not really for the kiss, but like just getting closer to her, which I felt like was not smooth. But then, um, I don't know, we, we were in the park, so we saw this chipmunk. And, um, <laughs> chipmunk. you know, she started talking about chipmunks or whatever. And I was like, oh, you got chipmunk cheeks because she kind of got like little little big cheeks. No, so I right, like, okay. the cheeks a little bit. Okay. And then, and then like, she was like, oh, I don't like my chipmunk cheeks. And she's like, and I got a mustache too, Baba. Because, you know, like, how some women have like just a little bit of hair on their yeah, upper yeah. lip or whatever. And they get like all upset about it. So, um, I was like, nah, I was like. You know, I can't be around you. You know, I don't like trannies, whatever. Like, I don't like that mustache shit or whatever. Hey. And we um, kind of joked around that a little bit. No, no, no. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop. Like, wait, wait. Stop. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Stop. Right. <laughs> Never talk. Okay, listen. They're real self-conscious, okay? Don't. You You were going down the right path where you just kind of veered a little bit. Look. When you when you were flirting about the chicken cheeks, that was cool. But again, like you said, it's all about how the mood is because women are all about how they feel in the moment. So if you if you take them out that moment with some other, some other stuff that's gonna make them feel self conscious, then that's gonna probably ruin the root ruin the mood. But um, but you were saying like how do you you know how do you transition into it is you is really all about how the the mood is set. So like when you were saying that whole chipmunk thing, that's setting the mood and she's getting you know like interested. So a lot of times it's just really being close to her. And keeping that mood set, and then just going in for it. You know, you understand what I'm saying. So you don't really necessarily need to do anything uh, like extra. So were you, were you asking like, what are some ways to, to keep it smooth, or what, what was the, what was the specific like um, thing? Like, what else were you trying to do as far as that moment was was concerned? Yeah, like basically, I mean, you saw how fucked up it was. Like, I was just trying to figure out how to be smooth with it, you know, and like, I guess like kind of just do it the right way and set the mood. Like, it's exactly what Steve was just, you know, Yeah, but transvestites about. aren't going to set the mood. I'm sorry, Cario. Right, right. No. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm thinking, I made that mistake, you know. Like, it, 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 but you, but you, but you, but you say, saying, you, saying you did kiss her, right? I, I still did, yeah, a couple times, too. Like, it wasn't even just that one time. Like, you know, I kissed her again before we left and everything. Right, so you, so you're already kissing her. So what's, what's the issue then? Like, what's the issue, um... You know, what's the issue with this? I, I just, I just wanted to make it, I just wanted to make it smoother. You know, I mean, you saw like it was, you, you saw I needed some help with the transvestite shit. Like that, that shit was not, not a one, but like, uh, you know, I just wanted to make it smoother for the future. You know, right, right, right. Well, I guess, I guess what you, what you can do is, you know, <laughs> stay away from shit that's gonna make it sound like you're, you're fucking, uh, you know what I mean, like. Like, like telling her she looks like a dude. You feel what I'm saying? So, <laughs> stay away from shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's just. You gotta sort of like use your best judgment a lot of times when you when you're doing these things. You know what I'm saying? Because, because truthfully, you can say anything to a chick at the end of the day, but you know, but it's it's sort of like sometimes the way you say it. But some things you want to still fill out the situation to see how she's responding to you because. If she's responding to you positively by you flirting with her, telling her she has cute chipmunk cheeks and all that shit, that's cool. You understand? But then when you're going off a little too too much to the left, sometimes you can see her facial expressions and her reactions, and it'll tell you like, okay, yeah, let me let me not go down that direction. You see what I mean? So that's that's what it is. And, and I just want to say this: there, there's a few more things that I, if I would, I would the see if you would have used the kissing one hundred and one. A little bit of the making out, a touch of the five play, it would have been a done data. Because I, I like the fact that you got a kiss, but I want you to give her a kiss to make her realize that you are, oh, whoa, well, I'm dealing with a bad motherfucker. Okay. That's number one. But no, number two, like like Lucario said, you know, you you gotta set that moment. And I don't know if you got a chance to listen. Like I said, I told I made some videos. Uh, you can listen to my spoken word that you can pick off of. You know, you can use the the words that I'm using. That's I said it absolutely free to y'all guys. So if y'all want to check that out, send me an email. But I'm just saying you you got to utilize that. But again, it's not just the it's not just setting up the kiss. That's why I say after the kiss or during. You you got to learn the kissing 101 techniques. You can do the make out and the five play with her clothes on to make her hot and horny. So then everything after that is going right downhill at that point. So the last question I want to know, what happened after? How did the date go? What happened afterwards? 
Um, I mean, this was last night. So I, mean, I, I dropped her off. And, um, I mean, I haven't heard from her since, which probably isn't good. But Well, well, okay. That's what happened. Well, well re- remember, and this is what we try to tell you guys. Just because you get the date or she calls you, <laughs> You still look every thing about like and Lucario said this uh, in the previous thing, and I said this. Every level you get at, there are other guys who are on that level. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna be like them and stay still, or are you gonna do something different that's gonna catapult you and move you to the next level? See, a lot of y'all guys do basic things, basic conversations, basic kissing, basic touching basic petting y'all do these basic things now don't get me wrong you took a step forward and i give you credit on that that is good but you must continue it because i look i know i I, the pussy's already mine as soon as we start texting within two days i mean it's already a done deal and i know if i if i get hold of her ass and be able to use some of my kissing one-on-one techniques it's already look, look not only is she she calling me that night she's gonna call me when she gets home She's going to call me when she's taking a shower, and she's damn she's going to call me before she goes to bed. But that's the difference, big guy. So I'm going to give you an A for the effort. I'm going to give you a, 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 a C minus, well, a D for that transvestite shit. <laughs> I'll, give you a, I'll give you a C plus or a low B minus for the kiss, but it can always be improved, man. Lucario, what you got on that, man? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll feel you on that, man. Just like, you know, um, just, just get a little bit more practice on – you know, you're, you're flirting with the, with these women, you know what I'm saying? And the more, and this is why it's important for, for guys to get out there and practice. Cause the more you do it, the more second nature becomes and the more, uh, you know, you, you start to get a feel for how to go about it. Cause the thing is, see, you don't, you don't want to necessarily try to be smooth. You understand? You want to just end up being smooth because that becomes part of your, your energy. You see what I'm saying? And it becomes that way once the more that you practice and the more that you interact with the women, because then it becomes more natural. You see what I'm saying? And so this is why you want to just get out there and keep, keep doing what you're doing and practicing it uh, with other, other women too. And, you know, make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a- a- absolutely. Last thing I just yeah. want to say is this, and here's the worst part about it. You didn't even put the cherry on top. What? Well, well, why didn't you send her a message after you dropped her off? Or when you got home to let her know how the night was or how the day was. Why didn't you do that? Well, I was thinking like I did a good job. She should have been the one who was texting me. Well, but you see, you didn't do a good job, right? Yeah. No, I know. I mean, so so I, so what I, I'm I saying is so what I'm yeah, like, so what I'm yeah. saying is, and it's listen, it's not a thirsty thing. Cause I remember you i for guys like us, I've already reinforced it that I, I I'm already in. But my thing is, I want I want her to go to bed thinking about me, and I want her to wake and wake up thinking about me. For calls, Mr. Lucario. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. sir. Uh, area code uh, five seven zero then four zero seven five seven zero. Are you listening, or do you have a question, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. No, I'm here. I'm here, brother. What's going on, fellas? Yeah, what's the question? Yeah. Man? I'm chum chum man. Look, I'm at work. I won't be all long. I don't want to draw the story out. But long story short, about a few weeks ago, I met this chick right at Walmart, right? And, um, you know, I, I gave my business card. We talked for a little bit, gave my business card. Then she reached back out to me about two weeks later, texted me. And then, so that was like on a Wednesday. And so I set up a date for her that Saturday. So we got together. I met at a little, at a, at a little ice cream spot, right? Nice. And we used to have a nice little, you know, about, about 15, 20 minute conversation over some ice cream. Yes. Then after that, we went bowling. I took a bowling. We went bowling. Then we had a good time bowling. Then after bowling, we went back to home, um, got, got some wings. Then we went back to my spot. You know what I'm saying? We're making fight, so we ain't good conversation. <laughs> yeah. Then we started, yeah, just like that. Then we started, then we started watching the movie. We started watching the movie. Yeah. And then she started, um, you know, running down her little personal saying that, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I am married, but I'm going through a divorce. And she, she a little young chick, man. She's like, man, like 24, 25 yeah. years old. You know what I'm saying? Saying she's going through a divorce, whatever case. And so in the middle of the movie, she was like, she got to go. So I didn't, I didn't put the press on. So I had, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I, she put her shoes on. I walked back to her car. I gave her a little hug. She tried to give me like one of little church hugs to the side. And I grabbed her. I said, girl, don't give no church hug. Girl, come here, girl. Stop playing with me. And so I gave her a hug. And long story short, she left. And then, so now this is on Saturday. And so I didn't hear from more. I texted on Sunday morning. I texted on Sunday morning. So I enjoyed my evening with you last night. I'm looking forward to, um, you know, expand our conversation a little bit more. 
And so then she didn't reach back out to me. Well, she texted me back, said, yeah, I had a good time too, whatever the case. But then she didn't reach out to me back with him on Monday, Tuesday. It was on a Thursday. She hit me back. She hit me just saying, what's up? And I said, what's up? It's, um, it's, our, it's our Saturday night. That's what's up. And then she had me a little, like one of the little smiley face emojis. And then so that Saturday, um, after I worked out, it was like around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I said, be ready at 6 o'clock. I want you to meet me at my spot. Right? And then she said, okay, cool. So she came back to my spot. So she met me at my spot, right? And so she came over, she took her shoes off, sat on my couch, and said, I'm kind of hungry. That's how I am too. So we had, we, um, I called out some food. We got some food. When they went, went to go get the food, and then we came back to my spot. And then we eat the food, and we got the movie again. And so I said, come here, girl. And she came over, you know, because she was sitting on one side of the couch. I was sitting on the, on the other side of the couch. And excuse me from talking too fast. I'm, just, I'm at work. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We're second in. No Keep going. On me. We got you. I got you. But long story short, she was sitting on one side of the couch. I was sitting on the other side of the couch. And I said, come here, I got to tell you something. And so she came over there to me. And then she said, what you want? I said, what I want. And then I started kissing on her neck. And then straight from her neck, I went down to her, you know, opened her little shirt. And I went down and started sucking on her titties, whatever the case. Then, so I had to, you know, took up her hand. And I took it to my bedroom. And long story short, man, I, listen, I, I put work in. You dig what I'm saying? I was working. And we was feeling good. But, oh, Steve, look at you. I don't know where, man. I don't know where. She said, like, she's moaning, shaking. I don't know what she said. After this, I, I got to go home. I got to go home, right? And instantly, man, look, I, listen, bro, instantly, like, my dick just got soft. And I, I'm trying to, you know what I mean, you know, keep myself right, in the right. mood. But it kind of just, you know, immensely right. messed me up, right? right? And so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't get back up after that. So we just, you know, chilling. I went back to the bathroom, you know, and got myself together. I went, went back in the room. She started getting dressed. And then she, um, and her eyes were, like, watering real bad. Like, she feel like she she's feeling guilty, man. I don't know what the situation is with her and what's going on, and, you know, in her household, whatever case. You dig what I'm saying? But I know I played my part. And yeah. so, um, I'm sitting I'm sitting at my table putting on my shoes. She came, sat on my lap, saying I had a good time with you, but I, I just gotta go, um, blah, blah, blah. And and so, you know, I walked back to her car, and I ended up going on, Sarah, I went over to Buffalo Wild Wings, talking to McGregor, probably my homies. But then after that, after that, like, I ain't heard nothing from her, so I ain't text her, I ain't call her. And, you know what I mean? So I'm just trying to figure out, like, like, what should I do from now? Like, what should be my plan, plan of attack? So I just let her do what I'm pursuing now? Or do I just, like, 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 like what's up, fellas? Uh, Y'all my big brothers, man. What's uh, good? What's Lacar going Lacario, on? do you want to go first or shall I? Yeah, I could, I could, I could go for well, So wait, you said, you said that she, you said that she's married or going through a divorce? Like, what, what happened with that part? Going, yeah, yeah, going, going through a divorce. And she told me that when she was leaving, she said, now, you know, we both still live together, but we live, we sleep in separate rooms. Now, I don't know, you know, what that's all about, but, Based long story short, she, she still is married, but going through the divorce. Right. So, see, that's the thing. Either, see, see one, it, it's, it's either that or that's what's making her all wishy-washy and acting weird, or she's probably still married right. on her man. You feel what I'm saying? Which is why she's feeling right, uh, right. we. You feel what I'm saying? So that, that's what it could be, because it's really just her. She ain't comfortable in the situation because it's something she's doing that she feels she shouldn't be doing at the moment, you feel what I'm saying, which is which is which is throwing everything off. So so I, I feel like she right. you, could still be actually married and just cheating on her man, or if she's going through that um you know divorce or whatever, there's still something going on between her and her man where she you know what I'm saying that she's being dishonest about it or whatever. So that that's the thing that I feel like is is uh, uh uh keeping the shit not you know not flowing in that direction. But, uh, but Steve, what's with right. you? Yo, you know, and, and I agree with you. I'm on the same line as that. I'm on the same line right, as five, that, right? Five, so I'm seven, just saying, oh. like, as far as I'm concerned now, right, right, right this second, I got like, I got like a two girl, I got two girls in my rotation. All I got like, you know, two all other all girls. All right, all right, five, seven, no, five, seven, seven, five, five, seven, Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Do you have the kissing 101 or the making out or the five player, the fucking 101? Do you have any of those? No, I ain't got none of that, bro. Nope, nope, I ain't got none of that. All right, this is this is let me tell you your problem. The problem is is yes, that sir. you were basic like like her man that she's having problems with. See, the thing is this you okay. I, I listen, let me tell you something. Everything you did up until the point she came over your house the first time was off the fucking chain. It every look, every right. let me say it again. Everything you did up to the point. She, you got her back to your place, was on fucking point. Your first problem is okay. this, see, this is this is where y'all mess up at. 
See, y'all, you you doing good, Fossil No, but remember, like you 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 always hear me play that Lenny Williams in the background, right? Did you have me? <laughs> yeah, did you have with <laughs> hey hey? Did you have what was your setup? Did you have the lights? Did you have the candle? Did you set the mute the mood? Did you have the slow music playing yeah, in the background? Little, little, all you burners, all you burners. Okay, the, the, the center, well, all you burners. All right, is going right. But here's the problem. The problem is okay. Now let me ask you a question. Yeah, you, you've been talking and texting her. In between all this, right? Am I correct? Nah, nah, nah. It was just, it was just basically like I said. I gave my card about um like two weeks um before the first time we got together, and she hit me up about the right. Field. No, 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 wait, no, no. I know that. So when she, so. I know, I know you. She hit you up and you set it up. No, I'm saying you did good on all that. But what I'm saying is, after you set it up, did you talk to her any more after that? Nah, and you know it's funny because they're like she like was real short with her like like one word text on replies and stuff like that. And I and I did call her one time. I did call right. one time. Okay. I did call one time and she didn't she didn't respond because it was so short in between. What? Like I said, it was, it was Wednesday the first time right. she hit me up, but then I set up for that Saturday. So right, right, that right, 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 right. Okay, okay, and, but okay. And, and, and to me, one no need for no but, conversation. No, no, it's it's no, it is <laughs> need for it is need for conversation, fam. Yeah, sorry, it 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 is need Bergie, for oh, Bergie, it's, all right. Okay, I got you. It, it is need um, for Bergie, conversation. Not, oh. I got you. Okay, so you work. Okay, okay, you there? You back now? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm here, okay. bro. I, all right, I, no, it's all good. No, I'm, I know you're at work. No, it's all good. No, it's all good. We got you. No, what I'm saying, it is. No, no, take your time, man. I, 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 need, I need to hear this. I need what, to hear what's this. What's in, what's in, see, this is why we always tell you, I don't want to be average, and I don't want to be like the regular guy. The, to me, you right. did so. Look, you, you, look, you painted a picture of someone that knew what the fuck he was doing, which you showed her up until the point where she came over because. If a woman's coming over my place and nothing's going down, she's never coming back again. She ain't coming over again. So what you did was when nothing happened that time, you rewarded her bad behavior by giving her all this other stuff. Now, again, here's the next thing. Now, my next problem real quick is, is we had her over the second time again. I mm -hmm. understand that you, 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 you said, come over here, girl, you're sitting too far away. But my thing was... Where was that motherfucker when you were at the door, when she walking through the door, greeting her with a hug and pushing up against the wall and going for the kiss right there? Why did you have to sit there? I know. I, I just like this, just like this, just like this, just like this. Like, like when she met, because I was, I was at the store. I was making the run. No, no, stop. Time, time out. I, time, I don't want to hear about that. Fam, fam, we're good. Got, no, no, no. Five, seven, no. I'm asking you about this. No, no, I'm, but I'm about, telling you when she got out, when she got out, when she got out. When she got out, when she walked to me, that's when I had I gave her a nice little squeeze before you went walked in the crib. Five seven zero. Oh, I'm seven. talking hey, about. Can you get burgers for me? <laughs> can you get burgers? Something you got to cut. You got to cut some out here. Thank you. Okay, five I'm seven zero. Five seven zero. I'm talking about when she was over your yes, place sir. the second time, all the way over on the couch. I'm asking you, why didn't you make your move before she walked in the door? Why did you wait? Until y'all sat on a coat couch and then told her to come over here. See, you got you have to understand something. When you're dealing with a woman that's in a relationship or a woman that's married, she, number one, she's on eggshells, okay? Because mm -hmm. she's like, oh my god, I, I can't believe I'm doing this. Is this the right guy? You know, if I'm gonna fuck somebody, I gotta make sure he's the right guy for the job. Facts, facts. I gotta facts, make sure facts, about that. Facts, so facts. what I'm saying is, is and real quick, is that what's important for you and everyone listening. Y'all got to do more marination. You got to be like when she brought up, you know, you know, I'm not trying to get in her business, but she talked about her man, you know, things I have a man. Well, let's talk about it real quick. Look, listen, listen, I'm not here to get in your business and all the other stuff, but I just want to let you know that, look, when you want to get away, call me. When you need to have some fun, call me. When you want some of this, you call me, right? <laughs> right, right, you, right. You right. let her know that. That's what I'm saying, you. Which, which you didn't do. But I'm saying is, See, when the when you utilize the kissing 101, you mix in the mess and the making out, you mix in the five playing the fucking 101 and a pinch of master the bedroom. You already good. All right, let me just say real quick. I'm sorry, I'm going too long, Miss Carl. Let me just say this real quick. Go ahead, go ahead. What I'm saying is this. I, I, I talk about one of my dogs, okay? And I and I'm I talk okay. He met a chick like two days, two days ago. Well, uh, last week, two days ago, right? Met her two days. Within those two days. Now, and she's married. Within those two days, not only did he, with his mouthpiece, he already talked her out the pussy. He thought, not only did he talk her out the pussy, he already got her showing panties, pictures of her pussy, and all the other stuff. So when they got together, it was already her saying, I want the dick. 
I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to suck that dick, have that dick in my mouth. That's what I'm trying to say, 570. That's, that's what I'm trying to get y'all to get, to marinate the pussy between her ears. Once you do that, because guess what? The majority of husbands, boyfriends, and lovers, they can't do what we do. So that's why they're not doing that right. I understand. Right. I understand. Okay. So, yeah, Lakari, what you got yeah, on like, that? Like I told, like I, I, go ahead, I'm listening to y'all, brother. Y'all got it. Yeah, you right though. Absolutely. Okay. Now, right. I, mean, I mean, everything you said was real talk. You know what I mean? It's just you know, <clears throat> again, especially if you're dealing with chicks who are you know going through some divorce or they just broke up with a man or they're in between shit or whatever. You know, a, a, a lot of them they're gonna be sort of all over the place so you have to make sure you're leading that interaction so that she you can guide her while she's you know what i'm saying because if she's all over the place you got to be the one to guide her to make sure that you know she's going to actually go in that direction of what you're trying to do with her you see what i mean and so the thing is understanding right. she's in that situation is is the key to understanding okay this is what i got to do next to make sure that this this situation goes the way i want it to go you see what i mean but you know that's what it that's yeah. what yeah, so yep. as, like I say, man, and, and, and we got to grab the other one. But uh, what all I'm all I'm saying is at the end at the end of the day, dog, it, do you want to be average or do you want to be great? Now again, everything you did was great, but this is what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah, yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm way above this, average, this, brother. What, yes, what, sir. No, yes, sir. Wait, I, I know you're way above average when it comes to everything you've done. But when you got her over there, you wasn't. You was average. That was the problem. And the reason that the reason that is cool no, that, that no, wait, listen, cool. wait, listen, I'm I'm only going by her behaviors because if you do this shit right, okay, she should be calling, texting, messaging you, telling you what time she's free, when she's getting away, what he's right. doing. So yeah. that's what I that's what I'm saying. And that and when you get to the level we're trying to get you with, with the kissing one on one, the making out, the five play, the fucking one on one, master right, bedroom, on it. it's a done data because why? Look, look, when you get a chance, send me an email as well because you need to listen to my spoken word because you got to be able to talk to the pussy too. You got to be in her ear talking that yak to her. Why are you doing these moves? Why? Because her boyfriend, husband, right. or man, you know what he's doing? Uh, 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 who's pussy? Uh, 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 when you get with a Lucario right. and the motherfuckers did it, then Williams and we got you over the crib. We talking that yak in your ear to give you something to chew on when we're not around you. That will make you want to get in touch with us faster because you got a taste of the drug. Right. You see what I'm saying, fam? Right, I got you. Hey, look. All right, so what should my next move be with that? Should I just fall back and wait for her to reach out? Or should I just let it marinate for a couple of weeks then reach out to her again? Like, like what you think the next move should be? Well, I'll just tell her what's up, sexy. I'll send her what's up, sexy. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Yeah, so get, hit me All back. Right. Yeah, just get back at me. Yeah, but but here's a real quick, because uh, yeah. I know Lucar has to go, but I'm mm -hmm. just saying real quick, is it, this is why it's important to uh, talk. To, see, look, this is not porn. These women are... It, they have a need to be able to talk to somebody because they don't have that at mm -hmm, home. Mm -hmm. So if you can't talk right. to her and make her feel sexy, uh, we talk about a passion. They don't have passion at home. And I can offer you a passion. Mm -hmm. You just got to take this motherfucking car. Right. It's a wrap. That's what I'm saying, man. Okay. Right. They got, they got to have that mental emotional orgasm. There you go. Mr. Lucario, what you got on that fam? Nah, real talk, man. I ain't got nothing to say. You said all right there, shit. 